Hi guys, Ryu here from Blender Bros and in this video I'll show you how you can set up your EV to make your renders look like that. I see a lot of renders made in EV, you know, online and they shit. And they shit because the lighting is garbage, the reflections are gone and there are no contact shadows. And that basically is due to the way engine works and you need to just simply know a few tricks to make it look really cool. And I'll show you these tricks in this video. First of all, when you're using HDRI for cycles, you want to go usually full strength or even more. But when you're using Azure in EV, you want to go really low. And let me show you why, okay? When I'm going to crank this up to, you know, one, which is full strength, you will see that it's going to blow up my image. And also I'm going to lose all the shadows because EV is a, you know, if it doesn't react to light like, you know, like cycles, basically it's a fake lighting, fake engine, you know, fake everything. It just fakes shit. But, uh, you know, you can you can work around it. So what you need to do, you need to go really low on HDRI. This is the first thing, okay? 0 0.1, 0 0.2, something like that. So if I'm going to turn off all my lights, you'll see how little light I'm getting from, from the HDRI. And the point is to simply open up the image a little bit, okay? Just, just put some light in it and that's it, all right? You don't want to light it, you want to kind of hint it, you know what I mean? And then, you know... You do the rest with lights but lights will really not work that well if you're not gonna have some atmosphere and this one you can add with volumetrics okay don't worry i'm gonna show you how this this whole setup in a minute now if you would like to learn more about vanilla blender and how all these tools work together uh, we have a free course for you it's a really cool hard surface course and it brings you from the cube to a final model to a final render so the whole processing including rendering even post processing of that render so the whole process is included and it's free and you can get it from our website so just click on the link in the video description and enjoy so if I'm going to cut these volumetrics off, you'll see that, you know, it looks pretty cool, but it could look, a, you know, a lot better, you know, and this is what the volumetrics are actually creating. On top of this, I'm actually tweaking the background and I'm doing this through the light path and these two nodes. And also there's a little bit going on in the compositor. OK, so we're going to talk about this as well. Uh, so if I'm going to show you the final render, and this is a TIFF, this is straight from Blender. You can see beautiful atmospheric fog, kind of like a dust in the air, you know, and you can adjust the strength of it and all that. And there's even a flare here going through, uh, like a lens flare, and uh, it looks really, really cool. So this is very close to cycles and looks very cinematic. So if you're going to create something at night with with light or something, you know, like on a rainy night or whatever, EV is fantastic for it. The same for interiors, but you need to add some atmosphere and, uh, and you know, add a bit of tweaks to make it look really cool and give, give it this depth, okay, this zing. So uh, let's, let's see at this, you know, let's look at the settings. So first of all, you know, these uh, one, two, three, four, five nodes, they are very regular. There's nothing unusual here. They're just normal nodes. So if you're gonna open a blender, you're gonna have this um, this world output gonna be connected to background, and then when you click on the background and press Control T with the node wrangler add-on enabled, you're gonna you know add these three uh, nodes, and this is where you plug your HDRI, okay, and then dial the strength of the HDRI to like 0 0.1 or 0 0.2, and I'm plugging it to a mixed shader. So Shift A and you just type mix here. Um, so mix and you just tap on mix, R S R G uh, mix RGB, put it in here and plug it in. Then I'm using this light path node and another background. So basically what you can do is shift D to duplicate it. Okay. So you got a node here on top and uh, there are two more nodes here and one of them goes to the mix shader and the noise texture is going to go in here. So if you're going to add here noise texture, so just noise and texture, and you just simply, you know, drop it in here, plug it in, and you're good to go, okay? Default settings are fine, no problem. Now, the light path in this one is actually for controlling the darkness of the environment, because if I'm gonna go here and go to film and actually turn on the transparency of the background, and I'm going to unplug these two nodes, you'll see what happens, right? It's going to be, uh, let me just uh, maximize the strength of this um, of this HDRI. So put one here and 
maximize the factor there we go and you can see that now i can see the background right you don't want to do that you want to you know you you don't want to see the background um of the azure in your in your renders so you want to turn it off but you don't want to turn it off because if you do that you're going to be able to see through which means you know the background is basically an alpha background there's nothing over there so if you bring it to photoshop it's gonna be like a cutout okay so you don't want to do that so now in order to fix that what you want to do is you want to drop that right to 0 0.2 or something so 0 0.2 right then what you want to do is you wanted to um you want to add the the light path here and you want to add this background here okay like that cool and then you can see that uh, the noise texture is fixing the problem with the background and the light path it makes it a bit more dark and if you want to make it darker you can by simply adjusting this slider here and also you can even add some color like for example a little bit bluish okay and this is how you fix the problem with the background now on top of this okay you want to add this volumetrics because without it it's going to look a little bit dull so what you want to do is you want to go to shift a and at principle the volume okay so volume right and this volume needs to be really low so you want to go like you know 0 0.01 or 0 0.002 or something like that and you should be fine okay and you should be fine now uh, let's just go back to camera view so where's my camera here there we go awesome so we got the background <clears throat> and now let's talk about compositor so compositor is what's going to basically inject a bit of oomph into the image and also it's going to help us with this atmos atmospheric kind of like a fog or dust okay so what you want to do here in you know when you go to compositor uh, by default you're going to get this node which is uh render layers and you're going to have this one which is composite right so when i'm going to open you know very fresh blender and go to compositing you know and turn use notes this is all you're going to see right so what you want to do is you want to add a few notes okay what you want to do is you want to you want to add glare all right so you want to add glare you want to add um, the uh, uh, curves so rgb curves you want to add color balance okay so color balance and in fact color balance could be after um after the glare so somewhere here so glare and then color balance right? and plug it in here and then we're going to need a mixed shader and we're going to change the blend here to yeah color dodge this will basically in enhance lights and all that and plug it in here and then uh, plug this one to image you can actually add a view note if you want to um so you can actually pr preview the uh, the render in the background so when i'm going to render it you'll be able to see some changes now on the bottom here what we want to do is we want to add texture so we want to add texture and here we want to change this once i add new texture and change it to um noise okay and add this in here so noise and then we want to add blur because this texture needs to be blurred this is what's going to create this dust okay here a value to image and image to image and then here we need to change a few things fast gaussian and maybe factor of two and this is you know good to go and this slider will basically adjust the strength of of this um, of this effect right so let's render this with uh, and then you know when you render it okay so let's go back here and uh, let's just uh let's collapse this one and we're going to render it with f12 and here what you need to do is turn on the backdrop and you can actually see the image in the background okay what you want to do here is you want to play with with this setting so for example this one's going to adjust the darkness of the image that you know the contrast this is basically curves okay and you can play on different values here as well just like photoshop this is actually a color balance so you can adjust you know the uh, coloring of your image don't overdo it because you want to do majority of it in photoshop anyway and this will determine the kind of intensity of of the of of this kind of like particles in the air so you know you can just dial the factor down uh, to uh, decrease them or up to increase them okay you don't want to overdo it you know you don't want to go too crazy kind of like you know middle ground okay and the glare okay the glare here will determine the the flare here okay and basically the um strength of light 
So here at the glare, usually when you when you when you go, for example, with uh, with lighting, you want to go for fog glow, right? But in this case, we're gonna go for ghost, and this is gonna create these kind of like flares, you see. And you can adjust them with the threshold, okay? So you can you can you can you can uh, play with the threshold here, and you know the higher the threshold, uh, sorry, the lower the threshold, the stronger the ghosting is gonna be. And you know you can adjust it to whatever you want and create kind of like an illusion of lens flares, and that's basically it. Now let's talk about lighting because lighting is really important. Okay, now lighting, guys, is something that you need to study because you know this is not something you can learn in one video. But these lights are really simple. Okay, these are area lights. Okay, and uh, the strength is pretty high, but the strength depends on the scale of your image, on the scale of your model. On distance of the light from the model but there are a few things I can you know a few tips I can give you for example when you go into scale the light okay it's gonna become a little bit more soft why because the area of the light is changing imagine like when that when you go outside and it's sunny and the Sun relatively to the earth um, has a very small area okay so the Sun is actually a small source of light relatively to earth so when you're on earth when it's sunny the shadows are very crisp it is like shooting with a flashlight okay the light is hard it's a hard light which means the hard shadows and hard transition between shadows okay now that's because the light source is small okay so the smaller the light source the more aggressive the shadows the larger the light source okay the softer the shadows so if you want to you know have kind of like a ambiguous lighting you want to go soft like on the overcast day okay but uh, you need to find this sweet spot between you know um, kind of like of you know light being too big and being too small and I simply duplicated this light to the other side and moved it a little bit higher okay uh, because I didn't want this uh, under uh, this area here under the gun to be too bright like this because it's just too too much attention pulling and there's one more light on the top that basically you know casts a light on top of the model and makes it a bit more kind of you know visible all right you can add as many lights as you want the cool thing in eevee that you can do and you can control is actually the custom distance okay uh, by changing the distance you actually change the uh, distance of the light being cast in in space so if i'm going to drop it down to let's say kind of like a lower value you'll see that the there's like a line i don't know if you can see that on the video there's like a line here going up and when it's gonna go up and up and up the the strength of the light is not decreasing but the area the light affects is sort of shrinking okay so now it's going deeper and now it's going shallower okay it's the light on the top you see what i mean so you can actually adjust it you can't do it in cycles but you can do it in eevee which is pretty bloody cool so you can adjust the lighting, you know, to to your uh, to your content, and you know, do whatever the hell you want here. And that's it, guys. That is, you know, that's literally it. Now the background is piss easy. It's just a plane with a decal, and uh, you know, that's literally it. It's just one decal, and and uh, this is from our event pack. So if you're interested, you can get it. And this is just a plane, and that is it. Okay, camera is 35 mil in this um, uh, occasion, so we got 35 millimeter camera, which is a bit more wide than 50, which is a default. And you know, I'm shooting at um, um, fairly standard. Um, where is the uh, output here? Fairly standard, you know, resolution. So nothing fancy. And guys, this is it, okay? This is how you create, you know, kind of a cinematic images in Eevee. Now, you cannot see these particles in the air because that's what's going to be created after the image has been rendered, okay? So, compositor and any changes in compositor you make, you can do them after you render because watch this. This is a render, right? I'm going to just put it here on the side and I'll show you how it works, right? If I'm going to adjust this value here, okay? See, my image is going to adjust as well, okay? So after the render is finished, you can play with the compositor and you can adjust these values here, and, you know, to whatever you like, okay? And once you're satisfied, you know, save it and you're good to go. So one more time, I'm going to give you a preview of, uh, let me just turn it off, preview of these notes. So let me just collapse this thing here. Uh, so very standard stuff. You have the render layers, then RGB curves, glare, color um, balance then you got the mix shader set to color dodge the viewer note you need it you, you, you can have it you don't need to have it doesn't matter it's just a you know, for previewing quick previews i don't i don't really use it that often um there's a composite output which is a default node the blur and the texture remember to set the texture in here 
and in the shit editor, I'll just switch it in here very quickly, um, you have uh, Underworld, you have the standard, you know, the standard three nodes here, so you can add them with Ctrl T. You got two background nodes, okay, and you got the mix shader here, to which we plug the light path, so the uh, via the camera ray, and uh, then we have the output, which is the default node. We got principled volume set to a very low volume here. Also, you can change color of the volume here too, which is pretty cool, and you can make it, for example, a bit more bluish. And you can also set some emission if you want, for example, like a smoke or something to glow a little bit. This is where you you know where you do it. So you could add some emission here. It's gonna look pretty cool. And then background, you can adjust it. You know, darkness or brightness or color of the background, and uh, and then you know noise texture to just kind of diffuse it and sort of you know uh, blur it basically. So if you have some HDRI poking through. You can blur it with noise texture. So that's it, guys. Uh, I think that's it for this video. And you know, try to create some cool EV renders. EV is much easier on the system. But uh, I have another video in which I'm showing you how to set up cycles and capacitor for cycles to actually enable you to render very easily in cycles at, at low sample settings, like 250, 300 max. Uh, you know, in very short time uh, without any noise or fireflies. So look up this video and uh, it's, it's really great and I hope it's going to help you out as well. Thanks for watching. See you